I appreciate the opportunity to present the State of the City to your organization today. I think we can all agree that 2020 has certainly been a year like no other. In short order, a virus offended many sectors of the economy and sent ripples across every corner of the globe. The impacts to public health and one's financial well-being has been devastatingly quick and oftentimes tragic. The loss of life continues to toll with year-end COVID-19 statistics in the United States reaching 19.7 million cases and a death toll of more than 342,000, which through the first part of February had already climbed to more than 460,000 deaths and a staggering 27 million cases. The state of Arkansas had amassed nearly 3,700 deaths in 2020 due to COVID-19 from more than 225,000 reported cases. And through the early part of February, these numbers had skyrocketed to some 300,000 COVID-19 cases with more than 5,000 deaths. At the local level, Garland County through early February has seen more than 200 deaths and 9,000 cases since the start of the pandemic just 12 months ago. Sadly, the city lost John Harden, one of its dedicated solid waste employees due to health complications brought on by COVID-19. Many more employees and their families have lost loved ones or continue to suffer the effects of the virus. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all the doctors, nurses, those working in healthcare sectors, warehouse and grocery workers, critical trades, and of course, all of our frontline essential workers at the local level. I am pleased to present this State of the City address and emphatically share the state of this city continues to be that of a strong and resilient one. Fires, floods, and pandemics are no stranger to Hot Springs as we have faced down much adversity since our city was founded some 142 years ago. We may get knocked down, but we continue to get back up and rise to the occasion. As you will hear in the words that follow, the Hot Springs community has the resolve and determination to overcome whatever is thrown our way. I'm honored to serve as your city manager alongside 600 fellow public servants, all who have endured the hardships of the past year while performing admirably and without hesitation. Now I come before you delivering a much different state of the city address than what I might have envisioned a year ago. Looking back upon the start of 2020, the optimism for our community seemed to have no end in sight with multiple ongoing large scale development projects and strong tax returns. In just a matter of months, large segments of our economy would be shut down in an effort to slow the spread of the worldwide pandemic to keep hospitals and medical resources from being overwhelmed to exhaustion. Entertainment venues and tourism related events were canceled with retail establishments operating only through takeout and delivery means. Most employees at some point worked remotely or have had their hours reduced while many have been laid off completely. We all have adjusted to living life through technology in a virtual format. From Zoom meetings to e-commerce and telehealth, the pandemic accelerated the adoption of virtual technology at a rate one could not have imagined. Additionally, the pandemic has highlighted the essential work that the city employees provide day in and day out. The important functions city staff carry out is not something that can traditionally be done in a virtual fashion these are the type of essential services done by the hardworking men and women that require one to answer the call for service when it is needed the most. Across the board, public safety, solid waste, transit, airport, utilities, and others have kept our community running in spite of the uncertainty of these times. As we fight to regain our footing, city staff stand with the Hot Springs community, ever ready to get back on top. More importantly, we have made great strides together as a community by answering the call for social and racial justice while also responding to the COVID-19 public health crisis. These challenges presented to our community were no different than the ones occurring across the nation. Although when I look back upon this past year, I'm reminded of the resiliency that makes Hot Springs such a special place to live, work, and visit. Hot Springs is resilient. To open, I draw upon late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's wise words. So often in life, things that you regard as an impediment turn out to be great good fortune. 
Hopefully we are about to gain some comfort and inspiration from these words in the months ahead. As a community, the hurdles we faced have brought us together instead of deepening the divisions among us. The collective response from city and county leadership against COVID-19 has instilled a sense of teamwork that has been missing for too many years. At the early stages of the pandemic, when the need for masks, gloves, disinfectants, and other personal protective equipment were in high demand and short supply, city and county leadership combined their collective resources to respond to this emerging public health threat. A multifaceted task force was started ahead of the state and federal efforts here in Hot Springs and Garland County to offer call center resources, drive up COVID-19 testing services for citizens. This task force brought together public safety, first responders, emergency management, hospital, physician staffs, all in a cumulative effort. Our focus was on providing critical relief to those in need, such as our senior, low income, and homeless members of our community. Task force members are working daily and meeting weekly to track and monitor COVID-19 information so that we are able to quickly coordinate resources and aid into the hands of people who can benefit from it the most. The spirit of cooperation continues throughout this ongoing pandemic and will continue as we progress further into the vaccination phase of our state and community. Our community joined the rest of the nation in mourning the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police officers and all those who are victims of systemic racism and social injustice. Unlike the property damage and loss of life that occurred in many areas, the Hot Springs community met these issues in a much different fashion. Hot Springs has long been a place of peaceful gatherings since its beginning, but our history often tells a different story of racial and economic equality issues. The Unity Coalition of Garland County, a group comprised of pastors and community leaders, has pushed matters of social and racial justice to the forefront. City leadership and public safety personnel have been engaged and involved with the Unity Coalition since its inception. The trust and understanding developed through this group and others have allowed Hot Springs to locally heal the divides that have long plagued our country. The Unity Coalition is leading the way with proactive discussions on racism and prejudice so that our community can be better equipped to deal with these issues now and in the future. From response to COVID-19 and confronting racial and social injustice, there have been great strides made by this community. There is still much work to be done with administering vaccines and ensuring that our city is one that offers equitable and inclusive opportunities for all. Our citizens can be assured that whatever the future holds, your local leaders will face these challenges together. Across the state, the tourism industry continues to be an important economic engine, often referred to as Arkansas's second largest industry, with agriculture being the largest. Hot Springs has always prided itself on the scenic beauty of forested mountains and pristine lakes, all found alongside outstanding dining options, numerous attractions situated in the Washita Mountains. We offer nature lovers history buffs, foodies, and more amenities that have earned us nationwide attention and for good reason. COVID-19 has presented a new reality and the impacts to our local economy have been felt directly by our visitor-based economy. Tourism was one of the first sectors to be deeply impacted by the pandemic as measures introduced contained the virus led to a near complete cessation of tourism activities around the world. This has consequences beyond the tourism economy, with many other sectors that support and are supported by the travel and tourism market. We are weathering the storm and making great strides towards recovery, but the statistics I'm going to share on our local economy tell two very different stories. On the one hand, you will see strong growth in the city sales tax returns, but on the other hand, you will see a convention center and hospitality industry that has been left decimated. After peaking at 15.6% in April, the Hot Springs Metropolitan Statistical Area unemployment rate slowly declined through 2020 and fell to 5.1% in December 2020. This drop reflects the cumulative impact of the reopening of the statewide economy and the high number of visitors enjoying the outdoor recreation opportunities of our area. 
Currently, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson has allowed restaurants to reopen at two-third capacity with a statewide mandate to wear masks in public spaces. These actions have assisted the local economy and employment figures with strong visitor numbers from Texas, Missouri, Tennessee, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. One segment of the economy that has boomed throughout the pandemic has been the housing and real estate markets. Both residential and commercial building permit activity has increased in 2020. New residential construction saw 79 permits with an improvement value of over $19 million, while commercial starts were 20 permits with an improvement value of $157 million. Statistics by the Arkansas Realtors Association show an increase of 18.5% in new and existing residential units sold in Garland County. This amounts to 2014 units being sold in 2020 compared to 1,699 in 2019. The average price per residential unit sold in 20 experienced a 14.5% increase to $230,000, which continues an upward trend. All these increases are coming at a time of both historically low housing supplies and mortgage interest rates. Quarantines and lockdowns have changed people's thinking of where they need to live and work. Technology has made employment locations and opportunities more mobile, and people are choosing locations with high quality of life amenities like hot springs. We braced for a grim revenue forecast as the pandemic brought about mandatory closures, reduced operations, and strict reg regulations on nearly all of our businesses in hot springs, especially our small and locally owned businesses. Travel restrictions and severely limited dining, along with the closure of many visitor attractions, placed a great strain on our tourism-based economy. Our community has benefited greatly from the federal assistance offered by the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, or the CARES Act, and other support programs such as the Paycheck Protection Program, increased unemployment benefits and direct payments, these factors and many others resulted in brisk sales tax revenue growth for the city. As people turned to e-commerce as the preferred way to shop, online sales tax collection provided stability to our revenue collections. City and county leadership have long advocated for the collection of online sales tax, which was luckily enacted during the 2019 legislative session of the Arkansas General Assembly. Sales tax collection posted a 5.23 increase over the previous year certainly propped up by capturing online purchases. Our 1.5% sales tax rate is our main revenue source for the city services, including public safety. As we close out the financials on 2020, our grim outlook has added color with the help of federal CARES Act funds and cost controls across city departments. The general fund will close out the year with an additional 3.8 million, aided by increased sales tax revenues and spending reductions introduced at the early stages of the pandemic. Additionally, CARES Act provided $1.5 million in a direct assistance to the general fund. Federal CARES Act funding also provided $2.9 million for the Federal Aviation Administration to our Hot Springs Airport, with Intercity Transit receiving $2.1 million from the Federal Transit Administration. From the cancellation of the St. Patrick's Day festivities to state basketball championship tournaments, Hot Springs has directly felt the impact of the pandemic and the grim outlook for our large, largest industry. The state's largest and busiest convention center has been shuttered since early 2020, evidenced by the one and a half million lost in revenue. That equates to a loss of 155,000 in attendees to the convention center events and more than 36,000 lost room nights. Group cancellations totaled 125, but that figure continues to grow with more cancellations being experienced in 21. The city's 3% advertising and promotion tax collected by restaurants, hotel, motel businesses dropped over 11%, or $783,000 when compared to 2019. Layoffs have also been implemented with 31 full-time employees or nearly half the a and Commission's total staff losing their jobs as a result of the impacts from the pandemic. Additionally, there were 90 part-time employee positions that weren't filled this past year. Anticipation was overwhelming for Oaklawn Racing Casino Resort, the state's oldest gambling establishment and a cornerstone of the Hot Springs community as their more than $100 million project was nearing completion this past year. 
Many people across the state and country were eagerly making plans to take part in the live thoroughbred racing or be one of the first to stay in one of the hotel rooms overlooking the racetrack until the coronavirus took hold. Governor Asa Hutchinson ordered all casinos to close beginning in March and for the first time in more than 115 years, jockeys and horses raced for empty grandstands and no spectators. The rapid rise in casino gaming revenue for the city ended in February after increasing some 88% when compared to the same month in 19. The closures continued until mid-May and resulted in a drop in revenue of 55%. Even with the reduction in guest capacity, wagers have continued to increase but are far from the pre-pandemic levels. Oaklawn Racing Casino Resort leadership should be commended for their business growth while keeping guests healthy and safe in a most challenging environment. As we look ahead to 2021, we are entering a new year with a new sense of hope and possibility. We have an opportunity this year as we recover and adapt to a new post-pandemic normal to carry the sense of common purpose and compassion into our community. Although we were presented with difficult circumstances, the dedication of the Board of Directors and city staff have accomplished many great milestones in 2020. There's an addendum to the written State of the City report that includes many of these accomplishments. This momentum will carry us forward into 2021 as we all commit to keeping Hot Springs as the place to be. The long-term water supply continues to be a priority with funding in the amount of $110 million in revenue bonds to construct the Lake Washita Water Supply Project. This project consists of an intake structure on Lake Washita, a 15 million gallon a day water treatment plant on property located off Amity Road. Additionally, there will be 17 mile raw water line that stretches across both U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and U.S. National Forest and many other properties terminating at the new water treatment plant. From that point, we will have a finished water line meandering 13 miles, ending at the new Cornerstone water tank. The former Majestic Hotel property development saw progress with the passage of a resolution in August 2020, authorizing the city attorney and city manager to begin exclusive negotiations with Sienda Investors and Grand Point Investment Group. A development proposal was submitted by this investment and development team that offers a luxury resort and residential components with amenities potentially using the National Park Service thermal waters. The proposal adhered to the adopted Board of Directors Guiding Values Resolution and also included open public and civic space. An upcoming work session in March with the Board of Directors and the development team has been scheduled. It will provide an update and status on this much anticipated project. Increased investments in our street and sidewalk infrastructure will continue to be an emphasis with funding and technology assistance. Through an agreement with First Step Pavement Management, staff produced a comprehensive street evaluation and rating system that includes video footage and a general condition report for every city street, as well as the type of repairs needed. The rating system also will facilitate development of a long-term plan to forecast when the streets may need future improvement. In 2020, the city pavement budget was $896,000, but with prior year funds, the city paved a total of $1.1 million. The 2021 budget will pave close to $1.6 million. Sidewalks are seen as a framework of neighborhoods and residents will notice a marketed increase in sidewalk work in the coming year. With the Community Development Block Grant or CDBG program and partnerships with the Hot Springs High School and Safe Routes to School, the city will help build $482,000 in new sidewalks in 2021. The Malvern Avenue project will enhance access to the city's transit system for residents in our historic Pleasant Street and Gateway neighborhoods, with hopeful outcomes being increased access to employment, a resurgence of pride in the community, and the restoration and preservation of homes in this historic district. On December 15, 2020, the board passed a resolution awarding a contract for the first part of this project, which will include brick crosswalks, sidewalks with pavers, pedestrian scale streetlights, a bus shelter, bike racks, benches, and bike lanes. The city hosted a groundbreaking ceremony for the project on January 19th of 21. To kick off the project, 
Energy is moving the utility wires underground along the west side of Malvern Avenue between Jefferson and Gulf of Streets. The project is being funded by a Federal Transit Authority grant, the Community Development Block Grant Program, and the City of Hot Springs Complete Streets Program. The estimated completion date for that project is July 31st of this year. The establishment of a homeless facility was set into motion at the January 5th meeting of the board with the passing of a resolution to allocate $318,000 in additional CDBG COVID CARES Act funds for acquisition of a quarantine shelter. This be used for event, prepare, and respond to the COVID-19 public health crisis. Phase one of the acquisition would be to research and identify potential buildings or land to construct a facility. Once identified, any and all unallocated prior CDBG funds would be used to purchase and construct as needed. It is expected that the shelter would be managed by a nonprofit or several working in concert in collaboration with other area organizations to oversee services such as food, mental health, health care access, job readiness and placement, etc. The Hope Works Job Experience Program established through a board approved memorandum of understanding with the city and the Jackson House. It's facilitated removal of more than three and a half tons of litter from Hot Springs roadways from September 24th through the end of the year. But more importantly, the program proved most successful by the incredible interest from area participants who are experiencing homelessness. Those involved earned a wage and were connected to a network of support services addressing the individual's critical health and safety needs. Two Hope Work participants have gained employment and worked their way out of homelessness. Now I'd like to remember Brent Scrimshire. Early in 2020, just as the pandemic was beginning to change our daily lives, the Hot Springs Police Department, the close-knit employee base of the city and the community as a whole suffered a tragic loss of our dear friend and brother in blue, Corporal Brent Scrimshire. Brent gave his life in the line of duty, with his end of watch being March 10th, 2020. An outpouring of love immediately began to come in, not only from the community, but worldwide, to honor Brent and offer support to Brent's wife, Rachel, and for their two children. Brent was recognized and promoted to Corporal at the Hot Springs Police Department for motions and badge pinning ceremony on August 21st, 2020, and gifts and support for the Scrimshire family continue. Just as we recently recognized the 25th anniversary of Fallen Officer Chris Anderson on February 12th of 2021, Corporal Brent Scrimshire and his family will always be remembered. Brent's selfless sacrifice unified our community when across the nation, communities were being torn apart by isolating effects of COVID-19 to political and racial tensions. In closing, we must remember that no single person carries the burden, the power to remedy, or the responsibility to recover in these challenging times. But by reaching out together with our strengths, skills, wisdom, and energy, we will embrace whatever the future holds. Our citizen values are strong. We believe that everyone in our community should live safely with the liberty that enables them to pursue happiness and more. As you all have demonstrated in 2020, it takes courage, respect, open-mindedness, and determination to live up to these ideals. In 2021, our foremost obligation is keeping our friends, family, and neighbors in our thoughts and actions, because we are, after all, in this together.